Caitlin, right now we are focusing on your safety. Our Michelle Velez joins us live from the fabulous Las Vegas Strip, where Michelle, being a news reporter in our community for years on end, you have reported on it way too many times. It doesn't just happen in Europe where people use their vehicles as a weapon, but right there, close to where you're standing, people have used those cars and gotten up on the sidewalks, and unfortunately, pedestrians end up being the victims. But right now they're doing something to keep all of us safe when we're down there. Well, unfortunately, Kim, this is a thing now. People using their vehicles as weapons. We've seen it around the world. We saw it most recently in New York City. And unfortunately, in 2015, we saw it happen right here where a woman drove her car up onto a sidewalk along the Las Vegas Strip. We know we have hordes of people walking at all times along the Strip. And she ran over a bunch of people, killing one woman. So the city decided something had to be done. And right now, there are no barriers between pedestrians and vehicles driving down the strip and they're changing that they're putting these cement bollards up and they're doing that along the strip hoping that this will stop a car if it tries to drive up on the sidewalk so you see i think you're looking at video now but here out live you can see that they are doing that construction i don't have a bollard to show you because they're putting them in but the city really hopes that this will prevent people from coming out here and using their vehicles as weapons. The Department of Public Works says these will resist a 15,000 pound vehicle traveling up to 50 miles an hour. So right now we're watching the construction starting this morning at midnight and they're putting them in here between Harmon where we are standing all the way down to Trop. But eventually Kim and Dana, the plan is to put 700 of these things along the strip so that people who are walking up and down the strip here, all of the tourists will be safe and we've talked to a lot of them and they say this does make them feel more safe. So we're watching that construction go on behind us. We're going to continue to do it. We're going to get some video of them as they get put in and then we'll be able to show you more throughout the morning. But I think this makes everybody this gives everybody a little peace of mind. Hopefully absolutely uh, when it comes to our safety. Kim yeah, and Dana. No doubt about that, Michelle. In fact, local police had a great idea during the marathon last night as well as they use large buses and semi trucks to block yeah. the major intersections so that people could not use a car as a weapon during the marathon last night. Michelle Velez reporting live. Thank you very yeah. much.